Hello everybody, welcome back. C Ray Tech here. Uh, today I wanted to give you, guys, give you guys an update on the Turbo Wing Cyclops 3. So I've had some questions about the DVR feed, the FPV feed, uh, whether or not there's any latency, and uh, oh, some questions about the VTX that I'm using, and um, I'll talk a little bit about the clover leafs that I attach to it. So uh, first things first, I. I'm not seeing any latency really, um, and I'm not having really any problems with it. Like I said, the only thing is the lens. I, I really don't care for that. So if you guys have any good videos or tips on how to remove these lenses and get rid of that epoxy, if there's any solvents or anything that I can use to kind of help ease that, because I, I don't want to break it, and that's my, my biggest concern. So um, yeah, if you have one, definitely feel free to leave me a comment. I would really appreciate that. So. We'll go ahead and get these recording real quick, and I'll have the videos overlay so you guys can see these in real time, but I've not really noticed any significant lag or anything, and when I'm flying it's not been enough to affect me. Now, it's been kind of crazy outside lately, so I haven't been able to fly outside, so that'll be the true test is once I'm outside and you know dodging trees and trying to fly some gaps and everything, but I mean, close proximity in my garage. I didn't really have any issues, and in fact, I discovered, you know, a couple new gaps. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment. But what I did for this build, and I've got a blog post that I'll link in the description too that you can check out that has all the links to everything and all that good stuff. So I'll just kill the recording real quick here on these. <clears throat> like this. So I use the Wolf Whoop uh, TX1. It's available on Amazon. I'll have a link up for that. I bought the Cloverleaf antennas from Beta FPV and those, uh, I mean the install was really simple. One thing to note is <clears throat> um, I desoldered the three pin connector from the TX just so that, that way I didn't have to to solder those points it's much easier for me um, I don't think that there's a clear picture here it would be these three pins here so I soldered in the camera and the power there and then I replaced the whip antenna that came with it here with a clover leaf and I get really really good reception um, especially in close proximity, I get zero breakup. I noticed that a lot of times if I flew um, behind myself or if I wasn't careful and I tilted my head down and I was behind myself, I would get some interference as I passed behind my big old head. <laughs> so I, I don't see that at all in the feed with this. So if you guys have any questions or if you, you need to know more, definitely feel free to ask. I think this is about all I've got for this video today. Um, but stay tuned for some future videos. I got some more stuff coming out soon and, um, like, and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always guys, fly safe and fly often.